Hello, hello, hello. You must be wondering what this is all about. Yes, I do label my stuff. <laughs> and why? Because my memory is kind of going, but I'm getting it back. Why? Because I'm into herbs. And when I got tested, uh, I wanted to see a neurologist, seriously, and get an MRI. Uh, but the doctor says there's no reason why we should. Well, I went on the wrong day, you see. When I went over there to answer all those questions, I should not have been on my herbs because then I would be probably lap relapsing. And uh, then he probably would agree that something's going on wrong. But only I know it, it's my secret. It's no longer a secret because I just shared it with you and I even shared it with the doctor. So what? It doesn't matter. Reality is reality, that's it. You just uh, deal with it the best you can and always serve Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's all. You don't have to worry about anything. Having the right perfume, the right creams, the hair, right hair color, the right wig, the right eye colors, the right soft skin, the soft hair. None of that matters. You know what really matters. And a lot of you have it. You have happiness with a relationship. Some of us may have some things that other people want, but we're not in a happy relationship or in a relationship at all. So always be happy with what you got. And if you got something that's bad for you, then get rid of it. Better to be alone than to be miserable. There's a saying in Spanish, mejor acompañada que mal acompañada. Something like that. Okay, well, let me just get to this, okay? Here in this, I know it looks ugly, but I actually label it because during the winter months, my house is nice and cool. So I could afford to keep my multiple jars of tea. So I don't need to take uh, vitamins or herbs or anything because I'm drinking it as a tea and it works better that way. So yes, this looks ugly, but that's okay. It doesn't have to look good as long as it works for you, right? So in here, I've already gone over with you this kind of tea, which is basically my peeled onions, okay? But in there, you see a hibiscus. Hibiscus is very good, high, lots of vitamins. Um, and so I put uh, my onion and my, uh, what do you call it? Um, Garlic peel. I have a fermented garlic peel in here someplace. Wait a minute. Let me see where it is. Let's see where... Oh, here it is. This is a fermented garlic. Like, I eat the fermented garlic, but I want to boil the peel because that, there's nutrients in there. Believe it or not, this tea is so flavorful when you mix it with my other... Uh, ingredients. This is, I have to make more. That's why I have the lemons here. What I did with these lemons is I soaked them in baking soda to get out all the toxins because everything is full of toxins. Okay. So I did that overnight. And then tonight I'm going to refill my fermented um, honey with lemon and garlic. It tastes delicious. Believe it or not, th those peels of lemon taste so yummy. And when I include it in this onion tea, uh, which I don't need sugar in this onion tea because I have honey, fermented honey here with lemon pieces and there are garlic pieces in there too. And everything about it is really actually yummy. If you only came to my house and I were to serve you and you would not know what I'm serving, you're going to say, hmm, what's that? Can I get some more? That's kind of interesting. Well, it's very interesting and very healthy for you. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get ready to pour some water here and i'm gonna let this tea sit for a few hours right i'm just doing it now i'm not gonna let it sit during the winter is wonderful because it could sit a couple of days because the house is cold i make sure i don't heat it up i mean it gets really cold in here and i only heat up my bedroom <laughs> and so i could keep all my teas all my herbs on a counter in the winter so i have found the winter to be useful uh, as opposed to hating it the way I used to. Uh, and there are no hurricanes or tornadoes or anything over here in the Poconos. So I think I'm probably definitely going to stay here, at least keep my foot here, as it or be a snowbird. So I here it is. I'm, I'm going to just brew all of these um, peels, and it's going to become a dark yellow, a dark red, actually, especially since this is hibiscus there. That's, it's it, it, it's um promise. And by the way, when I finish this, I actually throw in more water. I get to reuse it like two, three times. So as I put it in the fridge during the summer, I'll be just fine. But it actually, if I make it into a cool drink, uh, a cold drink with the uh, honey in it and the lemon pieces, trust me, you won't find this in Starbucks. You won't find it anywhere. So tonight I'm going to, um, just use up the rest of this. And um, I rarely eat the the lemon 
uh, peels and that's uh, a foolishness of on my part because this is really like dessert. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I use local honey, by the way, and I use the darkest honey possible because that's the one that's the best. And so that's why you see that this is dark. So last last year I bought from the Amish about three um, half a gallon, three qu quarts of local honey and I still have plenty. So I'm going to use this up. I'm going to munch on these and chew on them and uh or i could reuse them as really um everything to ferment together so i'm going to empty this crop this crock out and start a new fermentation it will take about a couple of weeks best uh and and um i could start reusing it so maybe i'll move if there's enough in here because it's kind of dark in there right you see that there's honey there so if there's enough in here that i won't use tonight i'll probably use it and move it into a smaller jar which i have plenty of so, for instance, this is a smaller jar that I have, uh, but in this jar, I make chlorine for the body, which kills parasites, and it purifies water uh, in a safe way. You're not going to want to use Clorox or bleach. This is chlorine that heals, is said to heal from people from cancer, along with other stuff. And I'm not going to give you all my secrets because I almost had it at the tip of my tongue, but I want you to keep tuning in so you can learn more things. And I'm going to throw in some nuggets each and every time, just like I just threw in one little nugget there about the chlorine. Okay. So now this, we're not even getting started here. This is just an intro. I want you to join me, please. So you can learn more things. And I'd love to learn things from you so that you could put things in the comment box. I want you to also like and subscribe and hit that uh, bell so you won't miss a thin thing. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye now and have a great day.